Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. In this lecture, I'm going to show you that how you can actually pass in data from a modal back to the parent. So let me go ahead and run this so that you have a better idea what we are trying to do. If you have not followed with the previous lectures or the previous videos about presenting models, then I highly recommend that you do so because all of this is kind of built on top of each other. So if you don't know what we're doing right now or what we have done, it will be a little hard to follow. Okay, so if I click on any animal, let's say a giraffe, I can see the giraffe and I can minimize this and it goes back. But what about if I actually wanted a text field over here, type in some name for the animal, tiger or whatever, and then that particular name, whatever the name I'm typing, will go back to the parent and display at the top. So I can click on this camel, write the name over here, camel in a text box, press a button, the modal closes automatically and the name camel appears on the top of the parent. So there are multiple things that we need, obviously. If you check out our animal detail view, currently it does contain a text to display the actual animal, a text to display the animal name, but we don't have any way to basically write down the name. So what I'm going to do is I'm removing this because I don't want to display the name. We are actually going to type out the name ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and say over here text field. Now if I'm using text field, one of the first parameters that you need to pass into the text field is a binding expression. And I don't really have any binding expression right now. If I try to pass in the animal name, it's not going to work because this is not really bindable too. But I can change that. I can go over here and say the animal name will be binding. All right. This means then I can pass in the animal name from the content view from the parent and then I can change the animal name and when I change the animal name in the animal detail view it will automatically update in the parent which in this case is a content view. I also need to put a dollar sign over here because this is a bindable expression and add a placeholder which can be a text view and I can say enter animal name. Immediately you will see that I have a problem over here in my Xcode preview because animal name is no longer a string, it's a bindable expression. So let's go ahead and remove that and try to pass in the animal name which is a bindable expression. So animal name you can see and we're just going to pass in the value which is a constant and I'm just going to leave it blank. So basically, I'm not really going to pass in anything. Now, still, we have issues because if we now go back over here to our content view, we need to make sure that we are passing in a bindable thing because animal name, if you remember, in the animal detail view is no longer a string. It's a bindable string or a bindable expression. Now I can go back over here into animal detail view. And if you check over here, the selected animal name is already a bindable state. So I can simply pass that around. So I can say dollar sign over here and make it all better. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so this compiles, this is fine. The problem that you're gonna face is that we will not be able to close the modal, right? Because now we need to close the modal using a button click. So let's go to the animal detail view and add a button, button, and which we can say submit, which can be a text view or not a text view, sorry. This is the actual submit button command. Let's add some padding to our text field. And you can also say uh, fixed size or something so that it is kind of like fixed size and it will be aligned to the center. The question is what should we do over here with the button? The purpose of the button is when we click this button, this modal should close. 
How did we close the model previously? Well, we were closing the model using something called show modal, which was turning on and off. But if you can pass in the show modal as a bindable expression to the animal detail view, then inside the animal detail view, we can also change this just like we're changing the animal name. So let's go over here and create a bindable expression. So binding var show modal, or it can be named any property you want. And now I can go over here and change this property. So I can say self dot show modal dot toggle. Now again, the Xcode preview is going to complain because we are not really sending out the show modal. I can actually add over here show modal, which can be a constant. But in this case, it's going to be a constant which is has a true or false value. All right, let's go ahead and fix this. There we go. Great. But we still need to update our content view to reflect those changes because the animal detail view now takes in another parameter which in this case is called a show modal. So let's go ahead and add that. You'll see that's not really appearing over here. So let's say show modal and it will autocorrect us. Self dot show modal. Let's go ahead and build that. And I think it can just arrange in the correct format or the correct argument, which is the second one, not the third one. Let's go ahead and build it again. Okay, now the question comes that where are we going to display our animal name that we just got it from the animal detail view. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a text variable over here or a text view, which will simply display self dot selected animal name. You can change the font to use the large font if you want to, like a large title and so on. You can see there's a little bit of a space at the top. Uh, it will eventually start appearing once we select our animal from an animal detail view. Now let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to click on some animal, let's say camel. And I can go ahead and change the animal zero to camel and submit. And you can see on the top, it says camel. Great. Now, one other thing that we can do is we may not be interested in actually setting the name of the animal to animal one, animal two, and so on. So I'm simply going to remove that from the button click. This is on the content view. Now let's go ahead and run it again. This time I'm gonna go ahead and click on the mouse. Now the text field is blank. I'm just gonna click over here and I'm just gonna say mouse, submit. This is a modal. And when we submit, you can see the mouse is at the top. And the same thing that I can do with other stuff like camel and all that stuff. Now, one of the things you will realize is that even though the camel is the current text, if I click on a giraffe, it is filled out with camel because that was the last value that we selected. And we don't really want to do that. We want to start fresh. So how can we remove this value? when the model is shown. So let's go ahead and do that also. The solution is simple. We'll go to the button click, which is making sure that the model is toggling. That's inside the content view. And it's, we're simply going to select the selected animal name, in this case, to, to simply empty string, like this. This means that whenever we click the button, or in other words, whenever we click this particular row or any row, it's just going to initialize it with nothing, basically empty. Let's go ahead and run this and now go ahead and check it out again. I'm going to click on mouse and I'm just going to enter over here, mouse, submit. You can see that we were able to pass in information from the, from the model to the parent. I can go ahead and click on camel and I can say camel, submit, and it works fine. And even if you click on some other value or some other element, you can see that this field is blank. So if you do not enter any name, it's gonna just appear blank. But if I go ahead and enter some name, it works as expected. So in this video, you learned that how you can pass in values or data from the modal 
back to the pipeline. And this is a very, very common scenario. I mean, if you're building some sort of a to-do list or if you're asking or the user to fill out the form and they want to show the form by clicking on some sort of a button or a tapping on the cell or a row, you want to update this particular list based on the input that they have added, inserted from the module. And there you have it, transferring values, transferring data from the modal back to the parent in Swift UI. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to go to Udemy and check out my course, Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. This is a complete course of Swift UI development. As you can see, it's six hours plus course and I am keep adding new content and updating it also to the latest versions of Xcode 11. You can see it not only covers the building list, navigation, grid, state binding, and all that stuff, but also MVVM design pattern by using and creating a complete news application which integrates with a web API. It also covers gestures, property wrappers, forms, and actually the new section that I have just added also cover modals and also passing information from the master or the parent to the modal using the MVVM design pattern using the view models. So this is your one-stop shop for a amazing course on Swift UI development. Now here's the thing, there are links right in the description of this video. So click on the link and you will get the best discount. All the links of my courses are also available in the description of the video. So if you like some other, you want to learn maybe augmented reality or MVVM design or even blockchain or machine learning, then the links are already there. So please use those links. You will get the best deal. And to be really honest, if you use my links, then I get to keep a little bit of a higher margin or revenue from those courses. But for you, the course is only $9.99, basically $10. So if you use the link, it will really, really be appreciated. Thank you so much. And if you have any comments, uh, don't hesitate to ask me any questions and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much.